Well, uh, hopefully you had a chance to take a couple minute break there. I know this is this is probably the hardest thing in the entire course. Um, so hang in there. We're going to get through it. OK, so here's what I've done is I've taken this plot uh, from before that Collings did, and I've just sort of copied some graph paper over it, and I'm only looking at the sucrose data. And I'm doing this. This is for the front. This is for the side. This is for the foliate. This is for the valate. And over here is for the palate. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to read where this, the center of this point is. And I'm going to come over here. And here we have minus 2.20. And here we have minus 2.40. That's what the minus up here means. And again, I don't know why it's up there, but it is. And oh, it looks like I copyrighted this graph paper. And that's what that little text is there. Um, and then I'm going to say this here is probably, well, 2.30. And so I'm going to call that minus 2.2. .2. Three, and it's an estimate. You could do minus two point two four, and you're going to be doing this, so that's why I tell you you could do two minus two point two two. The key is if this line right here is minus two point two two, this is minus two point two three two point three zero. Sorry, then that line is somewhere between them, and roughly a third, roughly somewhere in there. And then this one, so 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. This one is halfway between 2.5 and 2.6. So that's going to be minus 2.55. Foliate is going to, they're all minuses. So let's say somewhere right there. I'm going to go 2.34. Valate looks right on the 2.5, so I'm going to do 2.50, though 2.5 is fine for this class. And then here, this looks right on minus 2.4, zero. Uh, and for reasons that are too sciencey for us to talk about, I'm giving two decimal places, but one is fine if it's a zero especially. But for these other ones where it's not right on the line, you should give one more space because that'll help with your accuracy. All right, so these are log of the molarities. And what we said is if we're going to convert them into uh, molarities, which are threshold concentrations, and I'm going to use CONC for an abbreviation for concentration here, then all we have to do is type in 2.23. Don't forget the plus minus so that you have a minus sign there. And then hit shift 10 to the x. And I get, let's say, uh, actually, I think this is, I, I may have done it wrong. This is do 5.9 times 10 to the minus 3. And we'll put an M there for our units because we now have units. And we don't have to worry too much about them, except we're going to compare the numbers in a couple minutes. So this number is minus 2.55. So I'm going to put in 2.55. I'm going to do minus. And then I'm going to hit shift 10 to the x. And I get 2.8 times 10 to the minus third. And I'm going to do the rest of these, 2.34. Shift log 4.6 times 10 to the minus 3 and 2.5 minus shift log is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 3, 2.4 minus shift 10 to the x is 4.0 times 10 to the minus 3. And these are all molarities and I heart 
units. So I'm going to use my units. <laughs> and OK, so now, believe it or not, we're in good shape. So now the question is, for the front, side, foliate, phthalate, and palate, so which part of tongue, let's do it this way, is the most sensitive and has lowest threshold concentration. So most sensitive has lowest threshold concentration. That's the question we're going to ask. And I look at all these, and according to Collings data, the lowest threshold concentration is the side of tongue. So the side of tongue has lowest concentration and is most sensitive, which is crazy because it's, yeah, I had to think about it myself to just check myself. That's crazy because that's exactly opposite. Uh, well, let's say this. So the 2.23, which is the 5.9, so here, the tip equals, that's the highest concentration, that's the least sensitive. Least sensitive. Mind blown. But this is what Collings found. And this is another part of science, which is different people doing different tests, right? Because we don't know exactly how, um, uh, what was this guy's name? Uh, Hanig did it when he did it in 1901. So anyway, but now we've gone all the way back. We've done data. We've turned log of threshold concentration into the actual concentrations, and we've come to a surprising result, which for me is always pretty exciting. Um, and I don't think anybody's actually talked about not only how the previous tongue map was incorrect because there aren't tongue maps like that, right? But now it looks like according to this that the tip and the side are different. So the tip is the least sensitive, and the side is the most sensitive for sucrose, which is a sugar. Who knows what kind of sweetener uh, Hanig used? So where does that leave us now? <clears throat> where it leaves you is you're going to do the exact same thing I did on this table, except you're going to do it for citric acid, and you're going to have all your data on this page. <clears throat> 